I could buy any house in the world, and, and, and I don't want any other house than the one I'm in. You know, and that house is in a middle-class neighborhood. I'm happy in a pair of khakis and a sweater, so I, I, don't, I, I don't need fancy clothes. I don't need fancy food. Do you have an iPad? I do not have an iPad. iPhone? No. Welcome to our video. Have you ever pondered why billionaires like Warren Buffett live such modest lives despite their immense wealth? This question isn't just a curiosity, it's a crucial insight into financial well-being. By understanding the spending habits of the rich, we can reevaluate our own financial behaviors and focus on building wealth rather than maintaining appearances. In this video, we'll delve into the reasons behind this fascinating phenomenon, explore how it contributes to sustained wealth, and uncover valuable lessons that we can apply in our own lives. So, whether you're just starting your financial journey or looking to enhance your wealth building strategies, stick around as we unravel the mystery of why the rich often look poor. Have you ever noticed that some of the wealthiest people on the planet don't live the extravagant lifestyles you'd expect? This intriguing phenomenon is more common than you might think. Take Warren Buffett for instance. Known as the Oracle of Omaha, Buffett is one of the richest men in the world with a net worth estimated at over $100 billion. Who's winning in this economy right now? The rich. Guys like me. You know, we have gone from having 93 billion, top 400, in, in, in 1982 to having 2.4 trillion, 25 for one. People who, it becomes a more and more specialized market economy. It was right. an agrarian economy a couple hundred years ago. Yet, he lives in a modest house in Omaha, Nebraska, which he bought for just $31,500 in 1958. Buffett's lifestyle may seem baffling to some, but it's not an isolated incident. Many wealthy individuals choose to live far below their means. They could afford palatial mansions, fleets of luxury cars, and lavish vacations, but instead, they opt for simpler, more modest lifestyles. This phenomenon isn't exclusive to the mega-rich either. Many high-net-worth individuals, those with significant assets but not necessarily billions in wealth, also prefer modest living. They drive used cars, live in average neighborhoods, and avoid flashy displays of wealth. Let's delve into the reasons behind why many wealthy individuals choose modesty over extravagance. Firstly, prioritizing long-term financial stability over immediate gratification is the key reason. This concept, known as delayed gratification, refers to the ability to resist the temptation of an immediate reward in favor of a more significant reward in the future. It requires self-control and patience, traits often found in successful investors like Warren Buffett. Impulsive spending, on the other hand, can lead to financial instability as immediate desires are often prioritized over long-term objectives. Take the example of football stars who earn millions at a young age. Many fall into the trap of excessive spending, buying luxury cars, mansions, and living a high-profile lifestyle. However, their careers are often short-lived, and without proper financial planning, they find themselves bankrupt within a few years of retirement. Next, understanding the difference between price and value, a fundamental principle of value investing, is another crucial factor. Wealthy individuals like Warren Buffett invest in assets that they believe are undervalued by the market but have strong fundamentals and potential for growth. So you could have a cube, if you owned all the gold in the world, you could have a cube that would be 67 or 68 feet uh, on a side, and you could get a ladder and you could climb up on top of it and you could say, you know, I'm sitting on top of the world and, you know, and think you're king of the world, you could, you know, you could fondle it, you could polish it, you could... They understand that price is what you pay, but value is what you get. Lastly, avoidance of lifestyle inflation plays a significant role. Lifestyle inflation refers to increasing your spending as your income goes up. It's easy to fall into the trap of thinking that earning more money means you can afford to spend more. However, this can prevent wealth accumulation and lead to financial stress. The truly wealthy often avoid this pitfall, maintaining a modest lifestyle regardless of how much their income increases. In contrast, consider the case of lottery winners. A sudden windfall often leads to a dramatic increase in spending, a phenomenon known as sudden wealth syndrome. 
Many end up depleting their fortune within a few years as they struggle to manage their newfound wealth responsibly. Now that we've explored the reasons behind the modest lifestyle of many wealthy individuals, let's discuss the valuable lessons we can glean from this approach. First and foremost is the importance of living below your means. This doesn't mean you have to live a life of deprivation. Instead, it's about making thoughtful decisions about spending and saving, ensuring your outgoings are less than your income. This mindset allows you to accumulate wealth over time and provides a safety net for unexpected expenses or financial downturns. Take the example of Ronald Reed, a gas station attendant and janitor from Vermont. Despite earning a modest income, he amassed an $8 million fortune by living frugally and investing wisely. His story is a testament to the power of living below your means. Secondly, the value of investing in assets over liabilities cannot be overstated. Assets generate income or appreciate over time while liabilities drain your resources. Successful investors like Warren Buffett understand this principle and prioritize investments that will yield returns in the future. They avoid unnecessary liabilities that depreciate quickly, such as luxury cars or high-end gadgets. Finally, understanding the power of compounding interest is crucial. Compound interest is the process where the interest on your investment earns interest itself. Over time, this snowball effect can lead to significant wealth growth. Albert Einstein famously referred to compound interest as the eighth wonder of the world. By consistently investing and reinvesting the returns, even modest sums can grow into substantial amounts. Consider the story of Grace Groner. She purchased $180 worth of Abbott Laboratories stock in 1935 and never sold a single share. Due to the power of compounding interest, her investment grew to $7 million by the time of her death in 2010. As we wrap up this discussion, let's revisit the key points. The richest individuals often live modestly, prioritizing long-term financial stability over immediate gratification, investing in assets rather than liabilities, and harnessing the power of compounding interest. They understand the importance of living below their means and avoiding lifestyle inflation. These principles are not exclusive to the wealthy. Anyone can incorporate them into their financial habits. For instance, tracking your spending, creating a realistic budget, or building up savings are all attainable goals. You might also consider setting up auto pay for recurring bills or opening a high yield savings account. It's also worth noting that education plays a significant role in financial success. But the advice I would give is to read everything in sight you know, and, uh, and to start very young. It's a, it's a huge advantage uh, in almost any field. Uh, to start young and uh, if that's where your interest lies uh, and you start young and you read a lot you're gonna you're, you're going to do well I mean there are no there are no secrets in this business that only the priesthood knows I mean it, it, you know we do not go into we do not go into temples and numerous resources offer tips for young adults college students and beginners in personal finance by educating ourselves, we can make informed decisions that pave the way to financial stability and wealth accumulation. Now it's your turn to reflect on these insights. How do your spending habits compare? Are there lessons here you could apply to your own life? We'd love to hear about your experiences with wealth and frugality. Do you have any tips or stories to share? Let us know in the comments below. If you found this video insightful, please give it a like and share it with others who might benefit from this information. Don't forget to subscribe for more content on personal finance and wealth building strategies. Remember, your path to financial success begins with a single step. Let's take that journey together.